Hello everyone, welcome back to Tactics. So I'm back after a very long time. So it was a personal break, but it's good to be back now. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Stockroom on your Nothing Phone 2. It will be a fast boot process and it is provided by Spike, uh, Arter97 and Hellboy. And uh, all of the credits will be mentioned in the description. So thanks to all of these guys and uh, Nothing Phone 2 Telegram community. So in this process, we are going to install fast boot Stockroom using the fast boot method on Nothing Phone 2. So it will be useful for uh, like people having a bricked device so they can unbrick it. If it is a soft brick, then it can be recovered easily with this method. So first of all, this is the page on GitHub, which is a Pong archive or we can say nothing phone to archive. All of the files which are required to flash the stock room on nothing phone to will be found here. So you can see that it is uh, nothing OS archive actually version 2.5 and there you will see multiple zip files and uh, gzips and compressed files basically so here is full stock room in 7g format in three parts you can download this or and also separate partitions are here to download like boot firmware and logical partition so i'll explain what is boot partition firmware partition and logical partition we are going to use these three partitions separately to install our stock room so we will download these five files okay uh, which will include boot partition firmware partition and logical partition divided into three parts so we have to download these files first so first of all i'll explain what is firmware partition so firmware partition basically holds the information of your device critical information such as imei and bootloader information so your fast boot uh, is also a partition right so it will be included in firmware which is called xbl and uh, modem which holds your imei and uh, and also your bluetooth information now uh, talking about the boot partition so boot partition includes files such as boot.img recovery.img and vbmeta so these files are included in the boot partition right which verifies your boot and then uh, push your device to the next stage which will be the logical partition stage okay so boot partitions i already told you that it includes boot.img recovery.img we use recovery.img to flash files as well and boot includes kernel uh, which contacts with your firmware or SOC your chipset the kernel sends instruction to your different hardware parts to be activated such as camera okay so first firmware then boot partition then comes the logical partition so logical partition is basically uh, we can say it is a storage on your device logical partition contains different part of your operating system such as system applications which is in system and system ext and it contains uh, vendor product and product applications so these are under the logical partition. So you can see it is also explained here on the GitHub page, uh, the logical partition part, the firmware partition part. So now talking about flashing stock room, what we are going to download is we are going to download the logical partitions, compressed files, the firmware partition compressed file and the boot partitions compressed file. And also we need one more special thing, which will be a flasher, flashing script. And the platform that we are going to use to flash, uh, to use the flasher will be platform tools basically, right? Uh, Fastboot and ADB. So uh, this is the uh, flasher file. For Windows, you can download it from here. Flash all.bat. It is a batch file for Windows. And it includes the instructions such as this. And you can simply download it by clicking this download button here. And also if you are a Linux enthusiast, you use Linux device. So you can download the Linux flash all.sh from here. It is a shell script. So... Uh, both acts the same, uh, but uh, it is a difference of devices only, Linux and Windows. So um, that was the flasher. Now we are going to download platform tools or in short, us boot and ADP, right? So to download platform tools, always use the latest uh, Google SDK. I'm going to show you how to download. It is also given here in the GitHub page only. So you can uh, click here and download the platform tools directly from Google. Okay, just click on this link and a page will be opened from there just accept the agreement and download the latest platform tools and now the final thing will be to install the usb drivers for your device on your windows pc or linux pc so to install the usb drivers for fast boot and ddb you can also use this usb driver zip okay which will be provided in the github page only so you can download it from here and i don't think that i need to explain how to install usb drivers because if you are watching this video you must know how to install usb drivers okay so now let's begin the installation process uh, so first of all i'll create a separate folder for all of my files i'll create it on my desktop and we'll name it stock okay, so i'll put the stock files in it i'll just open this folder and i'll open the download folder where i have put my downloaded files so it is 
uh, first of all platform tools i'll extract the platform tools from here to the latest folder which i have created the stock folder so copy all of the file under platform tools to this new folder stock folder now we just have to extract everything that we have downloaded to the same folder okay so now let's move to the second file so now we will move this flash all dot bet file to the same folder in the stock folder okay just copy drag and drop to the uh, stock folder now we are going to the next file which will be uh, the boot partition okay so first of all we will extract the boot partition and also these three logical partitions we have to extract but i'll do it later because it is a big file okay so now let's extract boot partition file and i'm going to use 7 zip to extract these files so just select the boot archive and then select all of these files under the boot partition and drag and drop it to the stock folder okay select all of these drag and drop to the stock folder like this once done then we will extract the firmware partition as well and just uh, i'm using the 7 zip again now the firmware partition contains a total of 24 files right so just drag and drop it to the stock folder and let it extract now it's time for the logical partition so i'll select all of these three parts of logical partitions and extract it together using 7-zip extract files then select the folder uh, where we have to extract these files so i'll just go to the desktop again and choose the stock folder so yeah here is my stock folder select this folder click on ok and then just ok again then let it extract it will take uh, some more minutes uh, once the extraction is complete you will see this folder in your stock folder so under this folder you will see few more images .img file select all of them and go back uh, to the previous folder stock folder and paste it here uh, it was because we had extracted multiple files at once so now we have successfully extracted all of the files all of the archives into one single folder including the platform tools including boot partition logical partition and firmware partition and also our flash all dot batch file so we have completed the extraction now we just have to connect our device to the pc while your phone should be in fast boot mode already then run this flash all dot batch file now as the file is running in the command window you will get prompt on screen like if you want to format data press y hit enter then wait for next prompt it will ask if you want to flash images on both sides i want to flash images on both sides so just press y hit enter and then uh, the boot partition will start flashing right a boot partition like boot.img, vendor boot.img and recovery.img these files will flash in the in the boot partition first okay once these boot partition files flashed uh, the phone will be rebooted into the recovery mode the fast boot d mode okay so just wait for it so it will be flashing images on both sides both a and b sides as you can see on the screen now the phone will automatically boot into the recovery mode and we have to wait for it if it asks you to press the power button just press the power button twice and wait until the phone boots into the recovery and uh, once the phone uh, then boots into the recovery mode or fast boot d mode just keep it connected to the laptop or your desktop and then you will see that firmware partition will start flashing and it will be flashing on the both sides as well so it will take uh, two to three minutes to flash the firmware partition and after that the logical partition will start flashing now this process is going to take around 8 to 10 minutes depending on the specifications on your PC. If you are having an SSD and a good RAM then your process will be completed faster. But if you are using an HDD then it can take a lot of time. So you can see that uh, VB Meta is flashing. So it is a part of firmware. And now the logical partition started flashing. Now it is asking if you want to flash the logical partition just uh, you know press Y and it will start flashing the logical partitions. Okay. Now this will flash a vendor, system, system ext, product, all of these big partitions. So it can take a lot of time. Just uh, wait until it flashes completely. Now once the flashing is completed, you will get a prompt if you want to reboot your phone. So just type Y and your phone will be automatically rebooted then. Then just wait for your phone to uh, boot into nothing OS. If it asks to press the power button again, just press the power button twice again. And then uh, you will see a nothing logo here. And in few seconds, you will see nothing was boot animation. And once the boot animation appears, that means we have successfully flashed a stock room using fast boot method. Very easy method. Uh, now, I know that the video is a bit long, but it explains every bit of um, installing stock room using fast boot. So, guys, that was the easy guys. Special thanks to Spike, Hellboy, and Arter97, and nothing was Telegram community, and everyone behind the scenes. Now as I'm back to YouTube making videos, the next video will be of Paranoid Android Beta on Nothing Phone 2, how to install and a small review of that drone. 
So let's meet in the new video and I hope you liked it. If you liked it, uh, please press the like button, share it with your nothing OS users or nothing phone users if they want to install Stockroom as well. So thank you guys. Let's meet in the new video.